Well, good morning, everyone. It's Michelle from Michelle's Ink It Stamp It. And today I have a tutorial on um, the 507 Willow House Flip Flop Journal. So this was the one I made um, for Christmas last month, and I showed it. I have a video. Um, I can leave a video. Uh, card up here for you if you want to see it. I'll leave it in the description down below too. And um, so let's get started. This is my very first tutorial, so uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I probably picked a hard one to go through. <laughs> so this is all envelopes. Um, these are cut off from here. I didn't have little envelopes like she used, so I just cut them off. And I'm going to set these aside because uh, these could be uh, pockets. You could use them as pockets or um, uh, whatever whatever you want to do with them. Open them up for pages or that. So I have taken all of them and all the envelopes and I have opened them up. And I used my Cricut spatula because... I've had it since, what, 2006, so it's sharper than a razor blade. I've cut myself several times with it. Um, but I just stick them inside and open it up like that. And I did that with all of them. So these are my two little ones. You need two little ones. And I have four. Um, no, three. Three or four. Of three. I'm not sure we're going to use them all, but we'll um, start with that. Okay. All right. So this one you might want to use as a pocket, this first one that we're going to start out with. But I have opened it up anyway because all I have to do is add the glue down the sides if I decide to do that. Okay. So this next one I'm going to take. Set these off to the side here. So I'm going to take the second one and I am going to add it to this. But I want to flip this backwards here, crease this one down really good so that I have it. I'm going to just leave this open so you can see what I'm doing. I am going to put my glue stick on here. And if you put it the other way, it doesn't really matter because you can just refold it over. Um, so I'm putting that there and I'm going to kind of lift this up so I can see where the crease is because I don't want to go over the crease, but I want it to butt up to it. So I'm going to do that. Use my bone folder over it. So now I have the first part. I need to open this up and put the glue on this back part so I can glue that down so it stays there. And I'm using uh, the Scotch Create glue stick. Anything that comes up afterwards, I can, um, you know, just run some art glitter glue down, down below. There you go. And then I'm going to open that up and. Sure, I've got it all good and secure. Okay. And then the next one, I'm going to go the opposite way again. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see, I'm going to I'm going to fold this back so that you guys can see what I'm doing a little easier here. There we go. Okay. So I don't want that to go over, but I want it to stay right there. So I'm going to lift this up. Actually, I think I'm going to fold this back and just follow along this. Okay. 
went backwards and got a big old glob of glue. There we go. Okay. So, get this all ready again. I'm going to hold this up. And line that right under there. Okay, so there we have that. Okay, so this is going to fold up this way and this way, and then this is going to turn back on itself. This is going to be up this way. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So whether we use this as a pocket or not, so it's going to be a, va a valley, a mountain, a valley, and a valley. Because this is going to fold in with a signature. Then there'll be another signature in here. This will close up. Okay. And then this one, I want to be on the front. So this is our front. So you know what I think I'm going to do right now is right front. We're going to cover that up. And then I'm going to write back on here. Okay. So on our front, I want to add this. So I'm going to put this right inside. And you can put this, you can stagger it. You can put it up closer. If you want this less, you can cut this off which I might do because I think I like it shorter. Um, but I'll save that. I can do that later um, when I decide what paper and stuff I'm going to do on. So let's do that. I'm going to run the glue stick here. i got that big old glob. Let's try to use that up. Okay. So I want just this front piece. I'll do it this way <laughs> so that you can see it better. I'm going to flip it over. And I don't want it right at the bottom, but I want to make sure that the fold is all the way in. So then I'm going to do that and get my bone folder. So there's our front. I'm going to write front on there again. Okay, so this is going to go open up this way. And you can have it open up this way again. Or you can make this a pocket. And we'll decide that as we go. So there's the front. So we have... Um, and then this opens up. And I'll probably make this a pocket here, so I'll close that up. So we have that. And then when you open up this way, you have that. And then this fold. And then when you go to the back, you'll open it up and have that. Okay. So I want this on there, but I think I'm going to put this one up higher so they're not even. So let's do that. I think I'm going to do the whole same thing. I'm going to, yeah, I can't do it that way. All right. Let's just slip this in. Just so long as we have it so that the crease, there, I guess it's easier for me to do it this way. Oh, now I got that stuck on there. Okay, 
So now I'm going to write the back. Get this way. Back. Okay, so we have our front. Do that, 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 this, that, and then this folds over. And you have this and this. Okay. So there's the front with our little piece. And we have that glued to this first envelope that's either open or folded. You can do it either way. You can leave that open. Um, I think I'm going to close it up as a pocket. And then um, this folds up this way and this way. This one goes in there. And then when you flip it over, it has that. I'll do that one more. So let's open it up all the way so you can see what it looks like. If it's completely open, this will go in into itself here. So when that's open like that, you don't see any of the um, of the pieces. Okay. But when you fold this into your pocket, this will be on the front here. And then that folds up. This goes in, and then you turn it around, and then you have this and this. So hopefully I haven't thoroughly confused you. <laughs> Let's see, this one, uh, do I have one with a, did I do a pocket on this one? This I did do a pocket in this way, and... This one I did not do a pocket on. And I didn't do the back pocket. I did a belly band that way. But really there's no, there's no right or wrong way to do it. I'm trying to see if I had another one out here this one here so this is already started so this has the pocket in it this this I made into the pocket here so this is the fold out part when you fold that over that makes the back. You have that. That. I'm gonna. I put uh, another envelope in here and used it like a page. So there's, like I said, there's no wrong or right way to do it. If you just get it started, you'll kind of figure it out as you go. <laughs> I don't know if I want to cover it with the paper first so I have the whole inside covered, um, but we'll do that in the next video. Just so that this doesn't take so long. Okay, I'll show you the paper I'm going to be using. I'm using Sherry um, from 28. E, Studio 28E. I'm using her papers. Let's see if I can this here so you can see it and I am using the fairy day book I'll leave a link to that down below just got some really cute papers some cute ledger papers I think I've got that one upside down now I have this one upside down one with some birds this cute paper this one I like this like the crackle more birds um, this is part of her ephemera kit I did this in this one here and I really like uh, the way that came out 
This is one of her letters. And it's in her ephemera. I'll leave I'll put a link to that one too. So she has this is the paper, and you fold it in half, glue it to itself, and then I just kind of um, made it real uh, vintage looking. Sponged it and uh, wrinkled it in places and then went over it with the sponge to get the effect. But you can see that's that paper there. And you just fold it in half and it works out perfectly. So it looks like a double-sided letter. This is some more of her ephemera, so you have lots of things. You can fold this in half, too, as well, and it gives you like an envelope-looking thing. A little pocket. This is some more of the kit. There's littler pages, which we're going to need all different size papers anyway. And there's this one. I think the rest of these I need to turn this way. stuff out of the way for you. So you can see there's lots of ephemera there's lots of different um, pieces we can use, pockets, um, tuck spots, little cards, a sheet of paper. I'm getting a real glare on here. I'm hoping it's not showing up on the camera too bad or on the video. I love these butterflies. Bunch of words. And then she had these for covers on there, so that's kind of cool. Different size. And there are tags and little journaling cards and tickets, numbers, that's fun. Envelopes. Let me try putting my curtain back up so there we go. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so we have that. So I have all that to use. I'll leave a link to that. Everything that I put in there, because I think one was a ephemera kit and one was the um, the F fairy day book itself. And then um, I made this little uh, ephemera book and I put everything into my Cricut and had the Cricut cut it out. So um, I cut out all the all the stuff. Uh, this was one of her doily kits from her inner doily and lace and doilies. This is another one of the doilies. So I had my Cricut cut it all out so I didn't have to. <laughs> There's um, pieces like that that are really cool. There's some circle things that were in there. Uh, little file folders. Some more file. These were on our freebies and I took it and added um, in the Cricut I just took the angel and added it on top of this. I think this was from another kit entirely. Her, It's our blue hue I think is what that came out of. And then I just drew a box around it and flattened it all. Um, so that was on the front of this little file folder. So I thought that was really cute. <laughs> so 
I think that's it. So that's what I have cut out so far and ready to go. So we will continue and add our papers in on the next video. So thank you for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll put a couple more videos over here that you might like. I'll leave everything in the descriptions below that I'm using. And you go have a great day. Um, this is the first day of 2023. So Happy New Year to you all. And go create something fun. Bye.